Hello everyone, my name is Gun from Tofu Bank. Thanks again for joining in on our weekly speaking feedback videos. This week we have two guests to share with you. Okay, so on to our guests. Our first guest today is Indramani from India, and our second guest is Hassanini from India. They sent their answers for last week's integrated speaking question on the topic of meerkats. We'll take a look at the question and then move on to their answers. Listen to part of a lecture and then answer the question. Some animals have superior structural functions like humans. For example, meerkats. Most of you might have seen meerkats in the zoo. The meerkat is an animal that is also known as the surricate. These creatures are small mammals, where a fully grown meerkat only grows to a height of 20 centimeters. As meerkats are small animals, they easily become prey of other carnivores. As a result, meerkats have developed their own survival techniques. So today, we are going to learn about the survival skills of these meerkats. Hmm, you might think that animals are not smart enough to be on sentry duty. But you know what? Meerkats have sentries. Fascinating, isn't it? Meerkats choose a certain member from their group to play the role as sentries. They do this because of their unique hunting traits. Meerkats eat bugs that live underground. They need to drive their heads into the ground while they hunt. This makes them extremely vulnerable to their potential predators. So the sentry enables meerkats to always keep an eye on their predators. Whenever this sentry finds a predator, it alerts the group and the group hides. Their sentry system is highly systematic compared to other animals. One example of this is that experienced meerkats take sentry duties twice as much as those with less experience. Moreover, meerkats live in underground caves. As these animals live underground, they are safe from ground-dwelling beasts and threats approaching from above. Meanwhile, they are able to easily acquire food by hunting animals that live underground, such as bugs and worms. The lecturer here explains about meerkats, which are the smallest mammals, and he explains about the survival techniques. He goes on to say that they have few types of survival techniques in which the first one would be sentries. They choose a member among their group to become a sentry because of their unique traits. While hunting, these meerkats have to dig deep into the earth with their heads, so they could become prey because of this strategy. So these sentries help these animals to preventing from becoming a prey to other animals by alerting the group. So as soon as they alert the group, they hide. Moreover, they would hide underground and it is safe for them as animals like birds would not eat on them and it is easy for them to find foods like bugs and worms. So she got four points for delivery. Indramani's answer was very fluent with almost no pauses or filler words. There were almost no grammatical mistakes in her answer. She also got four points for language use. However, there were some issues in her topic development. In her explanation about the first survival technique, she failed to explain the part where they explained that more experienced meerkats did twice as much duty as inexperienced ones. Also, in the second survival technique, she says something about birds not eating meerkats. However, this part is not mentioned in the lecture. Keep in mind that the question asks you to explain the topic using points and examples that are mentioned in the lecture. So, she got three points for her topic development. So, in total, Indramani got three points for this question. Now, let's listen to the answer from Hashini. Some animals have supreme structural functions like humans. One of such example is meerkats. Meerkats are small animals which can easily become prey to the carnivores. So they developed some survival techniques. One of such techniques is sentry's method. Meerkats choose one of the members to play the role of sentry. Meerkats, while they are eating bugs, they drive head into the burrows, which makes them vulnerable to the predators. So the sentries will keep eye on predator all the time and when they come in contact or with predator, they will alert the entire group. The group will save themselves. And the system they follow 
uh, is always systematic when compared to other species experienced meerkat will take two times uh, the role as when compared to the less experienced ones and they prefer staying in underground because they can save themselves from predators and they can easily uh, get adequate food also Hashimi's delivery was very good, so she got 4 points for delivery. However, there were a few issues with her language use that made it hard for the listener to understand some parts of her answer. For instance, in the part where she said, system they follows is always systematic, it is unclear what she is trying to say, so she got 3 points for language use. Her answer included all of the major points mentioned in the lecture. So, she got 4 points for topic development. Overall, she got 3.5 points for this answer. Now it's time for our sample answer. Please keep in mind that this does not use a general answer template. As such, try to pay attention to the pace of the speech, intonations, and how the main points from the lecture are mentioned. The professor talks about how some animals have superior structural functions and gives the example of meerkats to explain further. Meerkats are small mammals that are easily targeted by other carnivores and because of this they have developed special skills to survive. One example of this is their sentry system. The need to develop such a system arose from their unique hunting habits. Meerkats drive their heads underground to hunt for bugs. As they are vulnerable while hunting, they need a sentry to look out for any threats coming from above. When a threat appears, the sentry warns the other meerkats so that they can get to safety. This system is more systematic compared to other animals, as an experienced sentry meerkat takes twice as much sentry duty as an inexperienced one. Another example of meerkat survival systems is their dwelling habit. Meerkats live in underground caves. This allows them to be safe from predators and threats above the ground. And by living underground, they can safely hunt for food inside the caves. Finally, let's take a look at next week's independent speaking question. You can send your answers until next Wednesday, November 18th. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Working as a team is better than working alone. Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Thank you guys for joining us and thank you for Indramani and Hashini as well as all the other viewers who sent in the answers. So thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you all next Thursday and have an amazing week.